China should not be allowed to set up a police station in any part of this country. Shehu Sani, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The former Kaduna Central Senator Shehu Sani has taken to his verified Twitter handle to say China should not be allowed to set up a police station in any part of this country. The outspoken human rights activist Shehu Sani tweeted some minutes ago on his microblogging platform Twitter to say we appreciate the support and solidarity of China to Nigeria. However, Sheikh Sane added to his statement by advising that no country, including China, should be granted the right to set up a police station in any part of Nigeria. Sheikh Sane concluded the statement by saying that if China were granted to set up a police station in the country, it's a result to endangering the con this country's sovereignty with the parallel foreign state apparatus. Shehu Sane's post on Twitter with us. We appreciate the country, we appreciate the support and solidarity of China to our country. However, no nation, including China, should be allowed to set up a police station in any part of this country. Doing so amounts to compromising a sovereignty with a parallel foreign state apparatus. What is your take on this issue? Well, yesterday, it was all about the social media that. Um, uh, the Nigerian government permitted all Nigerian, I mean, all China police station was about to be set up or set up. I don't know where the news came from since early. We are still researching to find out where the news came from, but it has been everywhere. And this one that Shehu Sen is coming out to say it. Remember what they talk about by, um, side news or rumors? There's an iota of truth in every um, or in every news. So, no, the Chinese government have come out to say they did not set up any this thing up, but Homoshibor, no blame us. We don't trust our Nigerian government. We don't trust. They can do and undo. China should be allowed to set up police station in Nigeria because Nigeria is going them. Other countries that Nigerian government collected money from should allow to. Are you are you alright? <laughs> okay. APC has destroyed this country. If China is allowed to open police station in Nigeria, they might also want to open their own court to prosecute the case the way it is done in China. The question is, do Nigerians living in China pay tax to Nigerian government or do Chinese in Nigeria pay the tax to Chinese government? According to the federal the constitution, according to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, there shall be only one police force in Nigeria. It shall be called the Nigerian police force. Nigeria has a dignity and it should be upheld. Well... I agree with you, but you see that part where they say Nigeria get dignity. When Nigeria they go borrow up and down, they don't remember this part. Nigeria should come out massively to protest. To protest any move by the all progressive government to allow China to open their police station in any part of Nigeria. Even one station. We have only one Nigeria police force. Buhara Namichi should be a how should be accountable for the billions of dollars they went into agreement with the Chinese government for the abandoned railway project. Find out what happened to the Democratic Republic of Congo. They went into agreement with the Chinese government for the development of mass housing estates, which China built so many of them, and they take fixed, very expensive rent on the houses to the ordinary people of Congo. The people rejected the houses in an effort to recover their money. The Chinese government established police force in Congo Republic to say the least there was a time the inspector general of police was a Chinese man. God forbid that in Nigeria, if the all progressive government in the remaining devilish reign on Nigerians wants to bring in China police, Peter Bidati Ahmed government will sell them packing come June 23 by God's grace. Hmm. Okay. The conclusion make laugh make me laugh in Chinese. Obi Dati, be a realist for once. Online voters do not vote in reality. Are we still on that issue? All right. Oga, you're owing China almost 50 trillion. So you are a slave to China. Your next year. Your next year. Okay. Your next year budget. Your next year budget, hoping that the same China will borrow your country more money. So you don't say anything that provokes them before they ask you to balance all the money. I know that your country has been run with empty treasure. My dear, this thing is very scary. This issue is not an issue for laughter. It's not an issue people should laugh over. 
this is an issue that is very serious. If the Nigerian government today, I mean, if the China people come to there and say, make we give them their money, she she like this will not get. Do you know that? And I want to be able to go back and research. I think Senegal and about this Congo now this person talked about. This one is Congo. I say Senegal. They are only international airports. One we didn't get, just one. Do you know that the Chinese government actually confiscated it? Do you have an idea? Are you aware? They took it just because in Senegal too, they continued borrowing money. They continued borrowing money and borrowing money. And the time period, the period of time, they did not create revenue. They did not start paying the money. Nothing. When it reached that time, we say the interest don't mature. Oh yeah, pay money now, no problem. Pay money now, there is no way. Then they confiscated. Do you know what it means? The money we be said they suppose they make go forward as a country. That place will be their means of revenue now. National means of revenue. I so you don't now. So so now any way China wants, then they go run out. Do you understand what that means? Apart from even the revenue coming in, the things they are going to be doing things the way they want. Do you understand? I know, guys, it's not funny. It's not going to be funny at all. All right. Why China won't set up a police station in Nigeria? If this happens, it will be great danger to security. Now you are getting the joke. Okay. There is no Chinese police stations in Nigeria. China has refuted the fake news. Okay. Oh. Sincerely, I hope it is fake. All right. If China is allowed by the Nigerian government, the Nigeria is the biggest fool on earth. There is nothing like biggest fool because they became a biggest fool. Not even biggest fool on it. I think it's even global biggest fool because they kept on collecting money from the government. See, there is nothing wrong with borrowing. Let me say this. If you borrow to build capital, uh, what's it called? Capital projects that will bring in money to the country. That will generate revenue. It's just like you're borrowing to fund your business. And you're 100% sure you have done your research, you have done your survey, you are 100% correct. Eh? That's money you borrowed. In due time, you'll be able to pay even without stress. But if you are borrowing just to fund, I mean, projects like, you know, that is not going to be generating revenue. Now, their problem, they will. Do you understand? And our Nigerian government have been borrowing for budget. Imagine borrowing to spend the money. They're not even going to spend it on something that will make Nigeria, you know, revenue boost. No. They're not borrowing for anything that will boost our revenue. They're borrowing to eat. Ha. I'm um, another one. I'm bad pass. Because you go chop and finish. And you go need to vomit all of them. All right. And this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.